Hey everyone, Alice here and welcome to an old science reading. So we're just going to check in on the energy that's coming towards you. Just kind of seeing what's going on. Um, these are going to be smaller <laughs> readings because I'm a little short on time, but I still want to check in on the energies. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just letting you know, even though I say that, um, sometimes it doesn't even like matter. But I'm like really just going to try to be shorter here. Um, we're going to go through Aries through Pisces. Um, my intentions are for rising and ascendant signs. I mean, you do you, you do whatever you want to do. But um, that is where my intentions are uh, for the readings. Uh, just keep in mind that these are collective general readings, so not everything may apply to your current situation at this time. Uh, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force anything here. Also, I mean, these aren't that deep. <laughs> it's just a check-in. Just kind of look in and checking and seeing what may be coming towards you in the next couple weeks, basically, um, and where it's going, possibly, um, as well. Uh, it could be future influence too. Uh, you can keep that in mind um, if it doesn't make sense, but it feels right. Uh, also, these are timeless. So whenever you find it, there could be messages in here for you because we could be on different timelines. Uh, your timeline may not match up with mine. So if I post this whenever I post it, um, maybe this is for in the future or maybe it was in the past um doesn't matter when that's for you to kind of figure out and maybe there's a message here for you okay anyways enough <laughs> enough of this we'll get started all right aries i hope that you're doing well let's see what's coming towards you like i said shorter readings Mm -hmm. Hold on, just want to move a thing. It's not entirely what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> What's coming towards Aries? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. You might have some trouble at home. There might be some conflict at home here. Um, or at a place that you're going to like an event or something this is something that you definitely don't see because i think the way that you're currently viewing whatever this is you don't have any sort of like conflicts with it right now um like you don't really see like there's anything wrong but there seems to be something that happens that you don't really agree with here um like you might butt heads with somebody. Give me one for this drama. This drama. Um, this is a seven of wands, by the way. So I know they're different because it says roses and stuff. So the moon, four of wands, seven of wands. Yeah. Somebody here, maybe. Uh, you might get into it with somebody or I don't know if there's a fight. There could be a fight, but it's more along the lines of you don't, you might not agree with somebody here with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, they could have strong Virgo energy here where like you feel you're right or you feel like you need to defend yourself in some way like this is just what is it that they're doing because whoever this is it's like whatever actions they take have meaning like they don't do anything quickly and they don't do anything without any reason to do it 
I don't know if it'll say what they're doing. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. You might feel like a lonely. Uh, you might feel misunderstood, like your emotions aren't being understood here. The uh, King of Swords here. So yeah, very Virgo type of energy here. They could be quite critical of you maybe, or just the way that they're, they're expressing themselves to you makes it feel like they don't care. Um, or like they're not that they don't un that they're not understanding how you feel about the situation here so there's a situation here that you seem to be fine with right now but you don't see that you might feel like you need to defend how you feel about um, a situation from somebody perhaps that you don't really expect to be defending yourself from because I feel like this can be uh, it can be friend or family but whoever this is <clears throat> I don't think normally you you get in fights with this person or you get in in arguments with them not not usually here so that's why you don't see this coming not really let's see yeah you don't really like this that much so we have the ten of swords we have the eight of pentacles and we have the page of wands you feel like like it it can feel like a bit of a gut punch to you because it's like why don't you why aren't you understanding how i feel about this situation here um i think that you feel like it's like in this situation like you've grown up a bit like you're not as impulsive as you maybe were in the past here um so it's kind of like, you know, I don't understand, like, why, why don't you, why don't you see where I'm coming from? Like, why can't you understand this is how I feel about this? I mean, I thought almost like we were past this kind of thing. Um, maybe you're, you're seeing them as being a little impulsive, a little reckless here. Like, why are they suddenly being like this, you know, when they weren't before? It could be maybe you're you're wondering like is it because um is it because there's somebody else watching maybe maybe they're trying to put on a show or something here oh uh, you're not very pleased with this this energy let's see what is the... okay where is this heading um seven of cups three of pentacles Six of Wands. I do feel you're gonna work something out with this person. I, uh, you know, it just feels like it's, it just feels like it's temporary. Whatever this is, um, you have options here with this Seven of Cups here. How you want to play this out. Um, I do feel if you're a bit more, if they're willing to work together with you, um, and if you're willing to be more of a team player here, that will give you the most optimal outcome here. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of that sort of, um, whatever, well, you get more, what is it? You get more with honey than with vinegar or something like that. It's kind of like that. It's like instead of getting mad, if you just kind of like compromise or work together, um, there's more likely to be a, a victory here for you. Um, you might have to kind of rearrange some things. You might have to make some compromises though. Yeah, but you can do it with the producer here, which is the magician. You know, it's up to you how you want this to play out, but it can play out in your favor. Yeah, it seems most likely it will, but okay. 
all right that's what i have for you aries um thanks for watching if you enjoyed these readings uh please like share or subscribe i really appreciate it um i hope that you have a good day and we're gonna move on all right taurus let's see what's coming towards you i hope that you're doing well quick reading Excuse me. Okay. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Um, well, there's some sort of union here with somebody. You know, cheers. Um, some sort of partnership, contract. Um, can be romantic or not. Here. It leans more towards romance, just because the deck that I'm using and the intentions and all that, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this could have this could be something new, or you're getting some sort of new opportunity here with somebody. Um, it's probably not exactly what you wanted it to be. Okay, um, it's it's kind of like you know what I'll take it type of energy here. It's like you're not getting everything that maybe you wanted out of this connection at this time but it's still something and it has potential to grow it's just not as big maybe as an offer as you were hoping for um but it's still something okay <laughs> let me see how are you seeing this Shit. what ah uh. Yeah, Five of Swords, Queen of Wands. Ooh, that's the special card here, the producer plan. Yeah, you think this person's playing mind games with you. It's kind of like, you know, why aren't you giving me more? Because there's, I get a sense of disappointment here with what they're offering you. It's like you feel this connection with this person. It's like you're getting closer to this person. Like you feel like you're bonding and they they just give you kind of small potatoes and I think that you might feel like you're being led on a little bit here because I'm getting a lot of energy that somebody's hiding their true intentions you think that they're hiding their true intentions here that they're just doing like you're just sort of the right now person it's like yeah you're only giving this to me right now because of whatever reason here it's like you're just kind of you know playing mind games or doing like Things that only suit you and not really thinking about me kind of thing here I will say that you do think they're attractive like you you are attracted to their energy here but yeah there's something why why would you yeah okay you just think that you're sort of you're like a rebound or something or you're just like you know the fresh meat you're just the new person and i'm getting kind of this energy like you won't be you won't let this person like fool you in something in some way here it's like yeah it's like you may be the new person or they may be new but it's kind of like uh it's like you're you're not gonna let this person play games with you Mm -hmm. it's kind of like you're like yeah I know what's up here okay where's this heading the world mm -hmm. the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles it's interesting and there's three of cups um honestly i don't know what's happening in between here 
because I get your energy is just seeing like this person, this, this energy as no good. You're up to no good here, but there seems to be some sort of conclusion here. You seem to get some sort of closure here. It could be an explanation maybe from this person. Maybe they tell you something. I don't know why. There's like a big gap here. I'm going to be honest. There is a big gap between how you're viewing this energy that's coming towards you and where it's going. Uh, there seems to be a lot of missing pieces here. Um, but it does get to some point where you feel satisfied with the conclusion of the situation here. Um, there's something... I think that whatever happens, there seems to be more of a platonic vibe here. Um, like ending up more as friends. Like maybe even like be better off as friends here um or you would rather put your efforts or the efforts here are putting are being more towards you know working together more in a friendship way um less in a romantic way um yeah I just get like maybe this connection, maybe there's some sort of closure, some sort of satisfying end here where maybe it's like, you know, I think we work better as friends is what I'm getting. You know, our the, what we both bring to the table here, maybe it works better as friends, less as lovers or whatever here. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in between there, but that's kind of what I'm getting. All right. Um, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Oh, thanks for watching. If you like these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you've been doing well. Let's see. What do you need to know about right now? Swords, four of swords. Hmm. Okay, not too bad. Started off a little rocky. Ace of cups. Okay. Yeah, I think that when it comes to somebody or people um, here, you may be feeling deceived in some way. Um, you may be feeling like people what they're saying, how they're acting, that they've got some other motive um, here that they're not telling you about, um, that maybe they're juggling you in some way here, that they've got their priorities all messed up here. Um, I do feel that you may get some sort of reassurance about that here and that's going to make you feel a lot better. So um, yeah, I don't know. Um, what is the Seven of Swords? Just tell me more. It's minor devil energy. So let's see. Yeah, the wheel, destiny, ten. Yeah, it might just be making you feel kind of insecure here. Um, making you feel like everything's going wrong, um, especially when it comes to your close connections. Maybe you feel a bit like there are other factors that are going on. Um, uh, not necessarily anything that you did. Uh, I'm not getting that you feel like you're to blame or that you're doing that you've done anything. It's just kind of the roll of the dice here. That's just kind of the way that it is here. Um, but you you may be feeling like people aren't being that honest with you, and that you know, like if you let's say um, ask somebody you know a question or you want to talk to them. Or you want to like hang out with them it's like it might feel like they always have some sort of excuse you know oh well I can't because I uh, you know I gotta do this and that and it's not it has nothing to do with you it's just things going on with them around them in their environment 
outside of your connection with them but it's still like it doesn't it doesn't feel great it does kind of make you question you know the security of your connection with this person um here it's like well why won't they just be straight with me you know what are they hiding why are they hiding from me you know it just feels like they've got other priorities that aren't me things like that right and i feel like you'll be getting some sort of reassurance here, some sort of peace of mind here that's gonna make you feel a lot better. It might invoke sort of new feelings towards, new positive feelings towards um, these connections as well. Let's see. advisor which is the high priestess and the eight of cups yeah right now um how you're viewing this energy is like i don't know what the fuck is going on completely in the dark i feel like i'm in the dark and i feel like maybe you feel like people are moving away from you um with the eight of cups or you feel like maybe you should move on okay i don't know which way it's going it's either it's like you have this sort of feeling that uh you're you're feeling like somebody's packing up some baggage here i don't know whether it's you or them there's just this feeling of either you're getting rid of some baggage here or other people are getting rid of some baggage again i don't feel like it's you i don't think that you think that it's you i don't get any sort of i blame myself here again the priorities it's just kind of like i'm not being made a priority right now and like i don't really know why i don't know what's going on i'm left in the dark here but you're using your intuition here so using your intuition how you intuitively feel these are both very intuitive energies you feel like some shit is being dealt with what's this eight let's see it's eight of cups what can you tell me about that Sometimes the readings are clear, sometimes they're not. Yeah, somebody's kind of growing up here. It's either you or them. I don't know, it can be both of you. Where it's like, you know what, I wanna be more mature here. And it's like, I care, because whoever this energy is, you do care about them. Um, there is that sort of, you have a connection with them. Like you have some sort of, like, it, um, like there's some sort of, companionship or something some sort of like friendship or something out there some sort of partnership there so it's kind of like you have a you have a strong connection um they're not just some person right um but i feel it's like you know what I, I want to be more mature you know i want to to do um what i feel is right sort of this is the queen of pentacles so it's kind of like I don't it's like I don't want to what's that I don't know how else to describe it except other than I'm moving away from things that don't serve me and I want to be more mature about the situation I'll just leave it at that there are a lot of things there but it's mostly like you know what I, I'm not gonna let it bother me basically is how you're seeing it you're like I'm just gonna pack up this shit and whatever whatever happens kind of thing that's how I'm seeing it from your point of view. I don't know about them. Maybe you just think that they, they're they doing the same with other shit in their life here. But yeah, I, I just get you here you know, as the Knight of um, Wands underneath. I, I, I get that it's like you're going to take the high road here. Okay, where is this heading? You're, yeah, you're going to, it's like you're not going to let it like fuck up your day too much. Because you don't know what's going on you just kind of like feel like you know maybe i shouldn't like bother with this as much also because i feel like you getting some reassurance if you weren't getting some sort of peace of mind some sort of reassurance here i feel like this would be different right but you've got somebody here maybe they say you know what i just i'm just dealing with some things it's not you and that's enough like it's just somebody saying you know it's not you it's 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 me basically <laughs> but be that could just be enough okay for this energy where's it heading that is not where it's heading that is just a mess i 
don't use this deck very often. Mostly because it's like, it does, there is interpretation here, but it's like, it's very different. So I'm not always used to it. Um, Knight of Pentacles. What? Ten of Cups? Wait a second here. And the Nine of Cups. Ooh, just wait for it. Yeah, I get this here. This is a very reliable energy that whoever you're dealing with, it's going to be fine here. It's going to be more than fine here. You're going to get some sort of offer here. Um, I don't know how it could be a big offer. It could be like, you know, I want some sort of commitment here. You know, it could be some sort of relationship here. I I'm not entirely sure. You know, it could lead to... This is what I'm getting. It's going to be better than you imagined. Whatever it is. It's something that's going to make you very happy. It's slow-moving energy here. So if this continues where it's going, it's going to work out well for you, um, this situation. It's just going to make you very happy and it's going to work out very well for you. I feel it's if you continue on this here, you know, with this Queen of Pentacle energy, you know, being... You know, valuing yourself here and knowing what your value is and, you know, being... I sometimes feel like people get the wrong idea with the Queen of Pentacles. Like, just a little bit, a little bit of a side with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, she's quite independent, but she's not independent in that she doesn't, you know, she doesn't help other people. She's both. She, she helps people because she cares, you know, the people around her that she cares about, but she doesn't let them drag her down, right? She can be her own self. She can make time for herself. She knows her value. She knows what she brings to the table. If somebody, you know, isn't respecting that or isn't appreciating that, she has no problem leaving the table, right? That's what I, you know, I, I think that, like, that's sort of, I get, I think what gets lost with this, with the Queen of Pentacles, at least in how I inter interpret her energy. It's, it's that she does what makes sense to her. If she's not getting anything out of it, or if she feels like she's going above and beyond and doing too much for somebody who is maybe not respecting her or not appreciating her, then she'll just leave. She doesn't have to deal with that shit. She'll just go, you know, use her energy, you know, in other places where it's more appreciated. Like, she's not going to bend over backwards for people. She cares about people, but she recognizes if she's not being respected, then she doesn't have to put in that energy, even if she wants to. Even if she wants to take care of somebody, if they just aren't respecting her, you know, she doesn't have to do that. She's doing it because she wants to. And if it's taking up too much of her energy, and, and she's like, whatever, you know, I know my value. I don't need to do this. That's what I'm getting here. So if you continue on that path, I feel you something very good, something very happy um, will show up here for you, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day and we're gonna move on. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you're doing well. <clears throat> Let's see, what do you need to know? and the four of cups okay this seems to be more about you I have to sneeze <laughs> okay we don't have to sneeze okay so and we have a four of swords underneath I feel there's something here that you're moving on from Okay, something here that maybe it didn't work out how you wanted it to work out, 
um, you could be leaving a situation just being like, you know, I'm packing my bags and, and you know, I'm, I'm just cutting my losses. I get a little bit here. Um, with the nine of pentacles here, I get that this is you freeing yourself here. Because you have the freedom to do that. You have the option here to do that. And I see this is more about you leaving a situation here to be more independent, to be less restrictive here, to give yourself some sort of time to, to yourself. I, I don't know if this is permanent or not. It feels a little temporary because it's all minor arcana, I'll be honest. It's kind of like, you know what, I'm, I'm removing myself from a situation here. I have the, um, you have the uh, ability to do so. You have the luxury to, yeah, you have the luxury to leave a situation here to sort of reflect on things. This is the sort of the antisocial, this is like almost like a lesser hermit type of energy here where it's like, I don't really feel like going out. I don't really feel like being social. I just kind of like want to be a little bit of a homebody right now and just kind of distance myself away from people so I can kind of you know, recharge, rethink, and all that. I'm getting a lot of recharging energy here. There's just a situation here that it, you just feel like it's not for you right now, and you're just removing yourself from that situation because you need to recharge, okay? Yeah, we have strength here. We have the temperance. And we have the two of pentacles. Yes, you're trying to find balance again in your life. You feel like this will help you to rebalance, uh, especially your peace of mind, right? We have temperance here. Temperance is all about um, our inner balance, right? How we feel calm and at peace and not stressed out here. I feel with strength. This is you looking within. Um, strength is also about knowing when you know, to do things and when not to do things, you know, when to hold back and when to go for things that you, you know, feel instinctually you should do. I feel you're doing this with compassion. I don't think you're like burning any bridges here. I don't think you're like, you know, like you're not like saying like, see a sucker or something like that. Like, I, I think that you, maybe you explain yourself to people. Um, maybe you're, it's like, you know, I just need a break. You know, I need a mental break. I need a reset here. Uh, I just need a bit of a vacation, kind of. That's what I'm getting, a little bit of an energy, just needing a vacation from this here. Um, now, this could be somebody else. That's entirely true. This could be somebody around you who's doing that. If it is somebody around you, if, if the energies are reversed, then the way that you see them, um, it's like almost like I kind of understand. Like there's a sort of compassionate energy um yeah you can be very empathic towards you know that they need this time um but i feel it's more you for most people i feel it's more you i'm trying to find that balance balance in life it's like maybe life is getting a little bit too much right now and it's like i need sort of a break i need a vacation here maybe you're going somewhere maybe you actually are going on vacation I'm getting with the temperance here and this sort of nice sort of villa here, maybe. All right, where is this heading? Maybe going someplace warm if you're in that part of the world like I am where it's fucking cold. Well, it's actually not that cold lately, but winter. You got the nine of cups, seven of wands, and the three of swords. Oh, careful here. Hmm. I don't know how satisfied you'll be about returning. You know how you always, you know, you know if you go on vacation, especially like if you go somewhere warm, like um somewhere warmer than where you live and then you come back there's almost like that sort of i don't want to call it disappointment but it's kind of like you know it's it's like maybe i should have stayed a bit longer or something here 
just be careful of your reactions when you come back from this. I feel like you could be a little braggy, not even gonna lie. You might be a little bit braggy, like, oh, I stayed at this nice villa here, a lot happened, you know, talking about all the things that happened to you while you were on vacation, if that's where you're going, or while you were there. Just be mindful of how you act around people, because it might stir some drama here. Um, these red flags are more red flags that people have about you. <laughs> it's, it feels it's more the other way, that you might hurt some people. Not intentionally, I don't feel like it's intentional. It's just that like, it's like I had a really good time, you know, in my time away, but by you saying that to people, that could hurt their feelings. Like just imagine if, um, if you told somebody that, hey, you know what, I need some space, I need some time to myself, and like obviously from where you're coming from, it has nothing to do with that person. It's like, I need, you know, to, you know, meditate i need some time to myself i need to like find nature or whatever it's just about me and recentering myself and that's where you're coming from but you could have somebody around you who maybe they're a little anxious um you know a little codependent perhaps and they don't understand that and they just think that you don't like me you don't want to be around me you know why can't i be you know peaceful to you like well, what's, what's wrong with me why why aren't you feeling peaceful with me and it's like it's not about you but they don't understand that so then you go off on your vacation or whatever and then you come back and then you know you had a great time and all you want to talk about is sort of you know the nice things that happened to you on vacation it's like oh yeah while I was there I saw this you know and that and I met these people and all that and it's like you're not meaning to like rub it in their face and you're not meaning to like rub salt in the wound because they weren't there um but that's how it could come across and it could hurt some people so that's just something to be mindful of is what i'm getting okay all right that's what i have for you cancer um i guess if this is you enjoy your vacation enjoy your time off <laughs> I, I suppose um but uh thanks for watching uh, if you enjoy these readings uh, please like share or subscribe i really appreciate it um, I hope you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Leo, let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you're doing well. What is it you need to know? This stupid song just popped into my head. I've no I haven't heard that song forever. That I need to know, I need to know, tell me something baby because i need to know i hate that song i'll be honest i don't particularly like it that's why i don't think about it <sighs> okay <laughs> sure let's come in towards leo the fool no oh, wheel of fortune and the three of swords Proceed with caution, this energy, because I get it's new energy, right? It's brand new energy. Um, it could be a person. It could be a brand new person here. Um, you might feel some sort of kismet energy here, some sort of serendipity energy here, like you meet this person or something happens here. Some sort of new beginning is happening here. Everything is lining up, lining up here. Um, just be aware of some red flags because this energy without this seeing this energy you could easily feel like oh my gosh this is like a dream come true kind of thing and you could get a little like you can see this like a little like romanticized i guess you could say and not really look at the flaws of it it's so easy to look at this energy because it's new it's like it's the shiny new thing right you know how people are people are like that like ooh, it's shiny and it's new and they get a little bit um blinded by that right try not to because there are red flags here there are things wrong with it this if this is a new person this person has baggage they're not perfect but you might feel that they are what's with the three of swords what are we talking about here? Yeah. When I say baggage, 
this person might not be over somebody or they are kind of busy in their lives um the two this is the two of pentacles this is somebody maybe they don't have their priorities quite straight honestly it feels like for most people they're not really over somebody there's uh the two pentacles if you look at you see there's two hearts here so there's like one relationship that could be the relationship with you and then there's somebody else and there's that trying to play that balancing game here it's like not all in on one person you know you, you know what i mean it can be their priorities are a little out there um i think that they're they're probably pretty honest about this and I think that could be, that's sort of, you know, something to pay attention. This is the Knight of Swords. Um, the Knight of Swords doesn't lie. <laughs> the Knight of Swords doesn't lie. Now, the way they communicate could seem like, oh, you're joking or something like that. Um, because the, the Knight of Swords, especially in this deck, is somebody that is very, I wouldn't say direct. It's like they're uncomplicated. You know they don't they're they're not gonna say a bunch of words unlike me who struggles sometimes to explain things um they're not gonna use like a lot of sentences and or like they're not gonna send you really long texts they might like say to you quite simply not that i don't think they're direct it's not like oh there's somebody else but you pay attention to what they say and how they act like with those words because they probably have told you without directly telling you that there are other things going on in their life that they can't put um everything towards you right this could be red flags for you too you know it depends on where you're at in the energy which side you're on because you know either you're expecting them to sort of put everything aside for you maybe i mean that could be your red flag um it has something to do about priorities there are this person has other things going on in their life like i said they might not be over somebody there could be another person um but i don't think that they hide it yeah ooh, why the lovers show up yeah they're just they're probably not over somebody okay let's see Oh, dude, you, you are like, you like this person. I can see it. Yeah. I think that you see, you think you get along well with this person when you hang out here. Hmm. You do see there's a bit of a wall. This is the wall. Okay. I, 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 I'm glad to see that you are at least aware of this three of swords, at least in this energy. I'm seeing you're aware of it. You really like this person. I get that. You think that this person, I mean, like I said, they're shiny, they're new. Yes, of course you like this person. You really like this person. Um, you get along well, the Three of Cups. You think that you guys, the way that you met, maybe, um, maybe you had some sort of bonding sort of experience here um, where, you know, you shared some things with each other and that kind of, you know, grew to more of a friendship type of vibe here um but i do get here with the seven of wands you recognize this three of swords as an obstacle okay this is something that yes okay i get it um priorities you know who's putting their priorities where i don't know if it's you or them or both of you that you do see this as a, as a challenge for yourself this is something that can be a block okay Where's this energy heading? Seven of Pentacles. The right reasons. It's very positive. I like that. It's not fast though. Grab this card. The hot seat. It's justice. And yeah, the cliffhanger to be continued. That is the hangman. Yeah, I told you, this isn't quick moving energy. Don't expect um, things to be moving very fast here. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles here in reverse. There's this possessive. This is somebody, 
there's somebody here who does not want to share something who is quite closed off um you know uh, they could be somebody who just has their heart closed off you know in a box nobody can get at it kind of thing here um that seems to slow things down although it does seem to be in a positive things are moving in the positive direction it's just yeah i if for the next because these readings kind of cover like the next two weeks i give or take um i really don't see much movement happening um within those two weeks it just feels like more of the same here um, I do feel the hot seat here, all of this here, I think that maybe you'll probably continue to build this friendship here. Um, the hot seat, it's kind of like asking questions. It's like I ask you questions, you tell me answers and back and forth. It's like this sort of back and forth exchange here. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I would say just give this time because giving it time, who knows where it's going to head. Um, but I see in the foreseeable future, it's, you know, it's kind of the same. I don't, I don't think, I don't see a lot of this changing. All right. Okay. Um, that's what I have for you, Leo. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day and we're going to move on. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you've been doing well. Why is there this like fluff? Okay, let's see. What is it that you need to know right now? Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, King of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't know if this is happening or not. I'm getting being whisked away. Maybe, but this is fantasy. That's why I'm like, I don't know if this is happening. This, this showing up here, this... Uh, the seven of cups it's like it's it can be like illusions um careful with this you could be you could be getting some mixed signals here from somebody um somebody could be saying that they you know that they're traveling um when they're not, I don't know. I don't think they're lying. I'm getting like somebody who's over exaggerating. Somebody who's trying to show off that they've got more than they really do. Because some of this isn't true. Some of it's fantasy, right? It's an illusion that somebody's created. They might create an illusion that they're busier than they are. I'm getting like the three of wands like it's like it's interesting because especially with the card right it looks like you know traveling going places going places seeing people and all that but that's not really what the three of wands represents the three of wands is usually a hesitant energy it's usually an energy where you're not really going anywhere you're just preparing yourself to go places so this person could be a lot of talk in, in the sense like they say that they're going to do things but they haven't actually done them yet but the way that it's worded and the way that they show it it seems as if they have done it or they are doing it like I don't think they're straight up lying I mean maybe there's some sort of like omit omittance um, but it's kind of like I'm getting like like padding the resume type of thing it's like showing like they've got more going on than they do okay let's see why 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 why
I think they want to make a good first impression here. Um, honestly, I'm not really seeing any bad intentions of the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, what they're doing maybe isn't that great, but I think it's just they want to impress you, really, because they feel like the two of you match. They feel like you guys are a good partnership, you know, that you're their queen to their king or their king to their queen, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's just energy. You know, they, they want to, so they just want to, like, show off a little bit. I'm getting a, yeah, kind of a showing off, like, they just want you to think highly of them, that, you know, they want you to see their value here. And, you know, there's a bit of insecurity here in that they, maybe they don't fully feel like they're good enough um, to get somebody like you. And so maybe they feel like they kind of need to sort of edit some things um, and like kind of work around things here. But it, it just feels like they're just trying to make a good impression. Okay. Let's see your energy. Okay, you see this has potential. That's interesting. Yeah, potential. What? Wow, this person does not need to do this. Have you told this person that? Because you really like this person. Whoever this is, like, you're practically in love with this person. This person, like, you might in, be actually in a relationship with this person already. Yeah, you are just totally... I'm just getting very enamored with this person. Does this person know? I don't think they know that this is how you see them because I'm getting like they're kind of trying hard to appear a certain way that would appeal to you. But I'm getting from you, you don't need to do that. I am... It's like I'm already in love with you. You don't need to do that. That's what I'm getting from you. Um... Yeah. We have Ten of Cups, we have the Star, we have the Empress. And there's the um, Five of Cups in reverse. <laughs> you know what? You kind of, you guys are kind of marrying each other's energy. Because I feel like this person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you. That they feel like they have to appeal to, um, you know, they have to make themselves look better than they are but you don't but you from what i'm getting it's like you don't need to do that um what was that that bruno mars song you know you're amazing just the way you are that's what i'm kind of getting from your energy i'm getting like it, it goes the other way too because with this with this five of cups in reverse it's like you might also kind of feel somewhat similar um Yeah, I don't know. I get a lot of good vibes from you towards this person. Like I said, I don't think that they're doing it. Um, I don't think they have bad intentions. In fact, it's very good intentions. You know, it's just maybe this person just has some self-esteem issues or something. Or they just don't feel as confident. You know, maybe they think that you are maybe out of their league or something and they need to show up more. Let's see, where's this heading? You guys are silly. <laughs> silly, silly. Where is this heading? Three of Cups? Mm hmm. Age of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I see for sort of the foreseeable sort of near future, I guess you could say, like for the next two or weeks, give or take here. This is the tower in reverse. I kind of see this still playing out. I feel like the facade is still going to be there. I don't see it really going anywhere. I'm not seeing it really doing any harm, to be honest. Um, it's kind of like... It's going to get to where it's supposed to go eventually anyways. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this is just... You know, if this is what makes somebody feel comfortable right now, then it makes them feel comfortable right now. 
um it's kind of like that because i get your energy here you don't really think poorly of this so, so if you do think poorly of somebody then this might not be your reading because i'm getting very strongly that how you view this person this energy like they can't do any wrong in a sense like they you like you care about them a lot so they and they make you happy and they give you the warm fuzzies and all of that and you see that there's a lot of potential here with them so if that is if you're thinking of somebody and that's not then this might not be your reading i'll just be honest there because it feels very specific like i'm telling you i'm telling you that this energy is very positive towards this energy here um you, you know i, I kind of just get like okay you know we'll play this game game it's not a game but like you know the fantasy right with the page of cups here because i get that it's not just them that's doing this i get it's also you to a certain extent and that's that three of cups here i do feel that there is some sort of enjoyment in this that that you both are getting and i feel like through this sort of fantasy here it's like it actually is growing your connection with this person as weird as that sounds it's it's kind of like I don't know what's going on I don't know the exact situation but whatever the situation is you know that this person it's almost like I don't know if you enjoy it, it it's just kind of like it's like the fantasy of it is it's not like you hate you don't hate it I don't think either one of you kind of hates it and I think that it's just it's just kind of another way to get to where this is going to go um here i hope that makes sense because i feel like i'm not making a lot of sense like in my like in my brain like like without me trying to speak in english it makes sense i just don't know how to put it into words for you here <laughs> I'm sorry, that might like think that must drive like Virgos crazy. <laughs> it's like just say it. Yeah, um What is this knight? Oh, the tower in reverse all by the way, I, I know I didn't mention that. It's because that is there because it's like we're continuing the facade here because it's like we don't want to fuck it this up. I don't wanna fuck this up, you don't wanna fuck this up. Like it's I me, I already get this person's trying to impress you um you know they're trying to show like they they have value in their own sort of way here you're you like this person so it's like you both kind of don't want to fuck this up so that's why this is still happening but you're sort of sharing in this energy so it's fine um but i do want to know about this knight of pentacles advisor just the high priestess well that does not tell me a whole lot there's a six of wands underneath okay so what i'm gonna tell you here is that because i wanted to know i'm like well where is this heading well it's heading in a reliable direction well what's that reliable direction well you know what that is you feel it in your gut this is your intuition you know it, it's not being presented like clearly but it has this potential to be something that works out that you know all of this will work out in the end kind of thing you know that there's some sort of victory here um but that's if you feel it so follow your intuition okay anyways i'm gonna leave that i'm just gonna leave this here for you virgo so thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Libra, let's see what is coming towards you. I hope that you've been doing well. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, that's a special card. That's, oh, you've got drama coming towards you. Ah, careful. Be wary of this Knight of Cups. 
um knight of cups pisces can be pisces um I just want to look up something about this producer plant. It's the special card. Trouble. Yes, trouble. Troublemaker. You got a troublemaker here coming towards you. They seem to be a sweet talker. This is somebody that... I don't know if they're flirting with you or if they're coming with you with their problems, with their romantic problems. They could. You know, they be, they could come towards you and say, "Oh, you know, I just broke up with this person. Why does it wasn't? Why does it ever work out for me? What was me?" Type of energy. Um, it can be a bit of that. It can be somebody who brings drama. This can be somebody that they they seem like a troublemaker. Either way, they stir shit up. This is somebody that stirs shit up. Um, they could stir shit up by maybe they're just very flirty. You know, maybe they flirt with you. And maybe you think, you know, oh, they're into me, but maybe they're not. Maybe they just, they're just that way with everybody. You know, maybe they're just a very flirty person. Um, yeah, this is two of wands. Tread lightly, um, in your decisions, I feel. Your upcoming decisions. You know, if you accept somebody's invitation, like their offer, so if you like, you go out on a date with somebody, um, I would just be mindful of that, of their, I, I don't know, what is this person's intentions? The fool and the moon. Yeah, I don't really know. Um... I mean, all I can tell you is their intentions is they want to start something new, a brand new beginning. They're taking some sort of risk here and starting something new, uh, but they don't even know where they're going. They don't even know what they want out of this. So, okay. Let me see your energy. There's you, your Libra energy. And the um justice the hot seat nine of wands yeah and the seven of cups yes you see this energy as like you're being tested this is a test for you are you going to pass the test there are many ways i think that you see that this can go here but you're trying to stay on the side of justice basically you're you're you you want to make sure you're doing the right thing so you see this as i am going to stay balanced here you know uh i want to keep order i think you want to keep order here uh, you want to kind of stick to your guns here i don't really feel like you have a lot of hope for this um situation it's more that okay this is just something that's testing me it's testing my energy it's testing my patience it's testing a lot of things because you don't there's a lot of unknowns here i'll be honest i don't know where a lot of this is going so it'll be interesting to see um, what turns up here but um it's like you think that this might be a lot of work and that there's basically like a lot of editing going on here you know a lot of doing things on the fly here adapting here to this energy you think that you're right you know you're right with your feelings here, not just your feelings, but you're right with what you know about this energy. There's something you know about this energy. It's like maybe they're a known troublemaker or a known shit stir or something like that, and you know this about them. And so you're you're pretty solid on that. And it's like, I know that this person is probably here to stir some shit in my life or stir or try to stir some shit up. Okay. Where's this heading? Um, and then your future. Where's this energy heading? Okay, six of wands, four of wands, and the wheel of fortune. This is a major shift. 
this is something happening. This is, you know, want, want. There, there's something that, some sort of action, something that is being hap happening here where somebody comes out on top here and it creates a major shift here for you or with the situation. Like it's supposed to happen this way. What is this for? We have the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Divine timing here. Somebody here, I don't know who this is. This could be external. It might not even be you or this person, this Queen of Cups. Um, yeah, Cancerian energy here. This can be somebody that comes in and shows empathy here. Um, somebody who invests sort of good vibes, I guess you could say, into the situation here. That can be what the... Okay. Because there's an event happening here. I kind of want to know more about this. Somebody here is basically maybe expressing how they feel, um, sharing how they feel here. Um, it's like now is the right time. So there's some sort of event here where somebody, it could be you, it can be this person, it could be somebody else who's just sharing how they feel. And now is the right time for that here. And it's almost like, you know, eyes are on them. You know, it's just, uh, you know, you know, how sometimes the timing's right. The opportunity here is creating this sort of major shift. Shift towards what? For you. Yeah, I, I don't know. More unknowns. Eight of Wands. We don't need to know everything, right? Very adaptable energy here. Mm, Seven of Swords underneath. In reverse. Um, I think that either you or this person, somebody's taking a leap of faith to trusting what is being said here. I feel like somebody is sharing how they feel and the major shift is that somebody is actually going to be like, you know what? I'm going to trust this person. I'm going to trust that what they're saying is true. Or I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to trust, I'm going to put more trust into myself here and just take a leap of faith here and just see where it goes. To somebody who doesn't do that, okay? This is somebody who does not take leaps of faith, who, who is not impulsive, who doesn't trust things like that here. That's where this energy is heading. I, there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of question marks here. Um, that because the the energy seems fluid, like it's like it, like with the like I said with the seven of cups here, it's like adaptable. It's like it's like you think that you have to adapt to this energy in some way or compromise or whatever. All right. Anyways, um, that's what I have for you, Libra. <laughs> Okay. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed these readings, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day and we're going to move on. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you've been well. Let's see, what do you need to know? of wands so it's the executive producer three of cups here to make friends hmm. queen of pentacles the single mom why is this on the bottom trouble 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 you have two people here you have a king of wands this can be um leo energy you have the queen of pentacles this can be um capricorn energy i'm getting though that these seem like opposite energies but they're coming together as one 
So you might have two people in your life that maybe you thought wouldn't get along or something, but it seems I'm getting like make amends here. Now they don't have to make amends with each other. You could just be making amends. You could be the person. I feel like you're the one in the middle. I remember I, I had a situation when I was like younger where I had two best friends and they were kind of like opposites. Like I was the common denominator there. Um, one was my, you know, friend where, you know, we did certain things together. And then the other one was my friend where we did other things together. Like one liked, you know, to talk about music and the other one liked to talk about movies, that sort of thing. So, and I was the common denominator. They didn't really get along with each other or they didn't spend a lot of time with each other, but I was the common denominator. So is what I'm getting here is I feel like your, your friendships are growing with these people. I'm getting like, just make amends. I feel there could have been somebody that was else. This is a third energy that got in the way. And I feel like that is what is being made amends for. I don't know what this is. This is some other energy here. What's underneath this? It could be many, many things. It doesn't have to be just one singular energy. This is seven of cups. It doesn't have to be just one energy. It could just be a bunch of things. Okay. Um, it could be a bunch of people. It could be just, yeah, other things um, here. But I, I get that there's growth here. So who are, okay, give me one for this King of Wands. Who's this King of Wands? You've got like one person here who likes to take the lead, who's very assertive, um, who likes to take initiative. And then you got another person here who's just very kind. Um, you know, they, you, you, you see their value in how they take care of you. And, you know, they're like a good listener, I get. This is the one that does the talking. This one's the good listener. Okay. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this King of Wands sometimes makes some mistakes, but I... D but I get here for the right reasons. So it's kind of like... It's not intentional. I think that this King of Wands just fucks up a lot. Um, maybe they run their mouth a bit too much. Um, maybe they're just very confusing. You know, maybe they unintentionally play these mind games where you're just kind of like, you're not sure, like, what is it that you're saying? Like, kind of things like that. I feel like that is being made better here over time. Ooh, there's this queen of pentacles with this queen of swords. Oh, okay. This queen of pentacles got a bit of an edge to her. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. This queen of pentacles. I mean, just think of it. Uh, I'll, I'll paint you a picture of a stereotypical, um, housewife. Like, um, what are they? Fuck. Like, you know, the housewife series, like housewives of whatever kind of thing or desperate housewives or whatever. I'm getting that kind of vibe here. You know, they have, you know, they take care of people and they, they have a good heart, but they, they kind of gossip a lot. I'm getting a very gossipy energy, how they talk that maybe some people might see them as kind of a bitch because they talk a lot, but honestly, I get with the the four of um, swords, it's just almost like they're just looking for some validation. You know, they just want you to agree with them. Um, you know, you don't have to try to like, you don't have to. Yeah, it's like they just want somebody to listen. You know, like, hey, I have a lot of things to say. Can you just listen to me? Like, you don't have like, they're just looking for some validation here. I feel like recognizing these people these sort of flaws in these people, I think, is helping to grow your connections with them. If that makes sense. Let me see. It's got a bit of a weird reading. 
because I feel like your your connections with these people are growing. They're they're becoming stronger. Six of Cups, mm -hmm. the Star, it says Cocktail Party, and the Four of Pentacles, it says Possessive, it says Butterflies, and I have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like this King of Wands, you have a very nostalgic sort of perspective of them. Um, they either remind you of somebody that you used to know. Um, or you've just known them for a long time here. Um, I think that you see that there's a lot of potential, a lot of hope here. Um, you know, a lot of optimism here with these people of getting along. Um, maybe with each other, maybe not. I'm not really seeing, it doesn't really feel like it's with each other. Maybe, maybe they might come together one day. Maybe that is your hope. Your hope is to bring these two worlds together, to bring these two people together. So you guys, so you don't have to like spend time separately that you can do things together. Maybe you, you, maybe you think that that could happen one day, perhaps, um, here. I feel like this person, this is somebody that you tell your secrets to. They're like the secret keeper I'm getting here. This queen of pentacles. It's somebody that you trust. You know, you trust this person and you talk to them and they're like a best friend almost. Like you, you, they know a lot about you. They know a lot of your secrets here. You know, they are sort of the keeper of, you know, these secrets. But I mean, I'll look at it. It's like really positive vibes on how you see this. And it's just... I don't know, you're just growing. It's just growing. Growing your connections here, but specifically with these people. Um, again, they feel separate, so it's kind of like, I don't really feel like they're coming together, like you're all going to hang out together. You might want that. I don't know. Um, I'm just getting more of a, it's like having hope that you, that these friendships, that these connections will grow. That's all I, I'm getting is like, you just see like, yeah, we're going to have some fun times together. Things are going to grow here. Where's this energy heading? <clears throat> Two of swords, five of pentacles, and judgment, the rose ceremony. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands keeps showing up. Um, I think that you may have to make some sort of judgment call here. I'm not gonna lie, you probably will have to pick one. One over the other. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's what I'm getting here. That's where the drama comes in. I see why we're being presented with these energies because I'm like, they're separate. I'm like, why are they separate? I f it's like, because yeah, you're making amends with these two energies. They're both flawed in their own ways, but it's almost like mm, somebody might feel left out. That five of pentacles. There's maybe somebody is feeling left out. Maybe you feel like, you know, you hope that you guys could all come together or that you can find a way to maybe compromise work things out here but i do feel you you probably in the near future will have to choose and the rose ceremony you get one well you know you have to choose who you're going to give your rose to does that make sense now these could be friends these could be maybe you want things to grow to be more than friends and if that's the case then Yes, you may have to make some sort of decision. Um, because I'm getting somebody sweating, sweating bullets here, you know, feeling insecure, feeling left out. The two of swords here, again, the, in this deck, the two of swords here doesn't have a blindfold, but it's interesting that the blindfold still came out. Somebody doesn't know where they stand with you. 
They want to know where they stand, I think. I think that's where this sort of drama comes in. Somebody might want to know where they stand with you. Um, so therein lies the difficult decisions, right? It doesn't mean that not everybody gets a rose, but like, you know, it matters who gets the first rose, right? It matters like who gets the first one, who gets the last one. It's like, you know, when you're picking teams, it matters who gets picked first, who gets picked last, because then you know where you are on the priority list kind of thing. Um, I feel like you're the one that's doing the picking here. So, um, let's see, where does this head? I kind of want to know. I just, I'm just going to do a little bit extra for you because this is a weird reading. I'm going to know where is it head if you pick this person first? And where is it head if you pick this person first? So what happens? Well, like, I don't know exactly what happens. What's the energy if you pick this King of Wands first? And I know that King of Wands wants to be picked first. It's King of Wands, right? <laughs> Ego. Of course I'm going to get picked first. This King of Wands expects to be picked first. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is Seven of Cups underneath with the producer plant. I don't know. I don't really like that. Uh, I think that they get mm, an ego. If you pick this person first, I kind of see them getting a bit of an ego like, oh, I'm the one who got picked first. Uh, causing a bit of trouble here. Now, they might not. Okay. That's the thing with this the Seven of Cups here. It's kind of a mixed bag here. They might, they might show up in this sort of arrogant way and disturbing the peace here but mm, I do feel like they they yeah I do feel like they they would be very attracted to you though and off and they would offer you something that would have the potential to grow into something okay what about this side God, it almost feels like picking your, you know, picking your friends over a love interest or your love interest over your friends. Oh my gosh. This would be the love interest, right? This would be the friends. <sighs> I don't envy you. It's not easy. What's over here? Queen of Pentacles. Picking the Queen of Pentacles. What's the energy? Because I know the Queen of Pentacles, she she would act like it doesn't bother her. She'd act above it. I'm above this. I'm okay with it. Yeah. But she's not. She's fuming. She would be fuming. But what is this? Why do they have such weird reactions? Like, energetically. That's the devil. Says the villain. It's all about me. Ten of wands shoulder to cry on eight of wands leap of faith page of cups in reverse underneath daydreamer again a more what if scenario the seven of cups and the page of cups are both energies of fantasy anything can happen right <sighs> I don't, this person, if you pick this person, they might, mm, they might make you out to be the villain in some way here because you're putting too much responsibility on them. Um, and they might think that you're, 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 you're doing this on a whim. You're doing it to, you're, yeah. Honestly, if I was looking at this energy, uh, I mean, both of them, picking both of them has sort of a downfall here, but this queen of pentacles picking her she feels it would be more of a burden 
It's like, why are you making me out to be the villain? Again, it does feel a little bit between picking between a love interest and your best friend. And it's like, if you pick your best friend, it's almost like they're like, why the fuck did you pick me? Like now I feel the burden because you didn't pick them. You know what I mean? Like now I feel like I have to like sort of carry that. Like I have to, to, it almost feels like they feel like they would have to do more, that they would have more responsibilities now because you know, that you pick them over this person. So it's like, now I have to perform. I'm getting like, I have to perform more here for this energy. I, there's just more that I have to do here. And that's just the way that it is. The page cups in reverse. You know, I, I don't, I can't tell you what to do, but just given the energy here, if this was the energy that I was presented here, <laughs> I don't even know, because even if you pick this person, it doesn't it, it's it does not start off well because this person might actually kind of annoy you a bit and be like oh you picked me yeah you picked me pick me pick me oh you picked me they might like kind of rub it in your face a little and just you just might actually regret picking them um here they're like oh you really like me oh i see you gave me you gave me a chance you really like me and they just run with it honestly i don't even see any good choices here <laughs> You can have to figure this out. Now, I will say that with the, like I said, with the Seven of Cups and the Page of Cups showing up for both, it's just a fantasy scenario. I actually don't know what they would do or what would happen. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to leave that here with you, Scorpio. That was too long. Um, I was going to take a break anyways, uh, but... Uh, I'm gonna leave this here with you. So that's what I have for you Scorpio. So thanks for watching a little bit longer than the other readings Just because it basically wanted to put like a two-in-one here for some reason uh, If you enjoy these readings, uh, please like share or subscribe. I really appreciate it I hope that you have a good day and we're gonna move on Okay, Sagittarius Let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what it is that you need to know. Some devil energy. Okay. <clears throat> Take note. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords. Could be dealing um, with Cancerian energy here. Um, can also be Pisces, Scorpio. Mm, yeah, strong water energies. Pisces, uh, Cancer, and then, yeah, Scorpio, but. Um, I don't know if this is you or somebody else. Um, somebody's real upset. I'm getting. I don't know where it's coming from. Like, it just feels like somebody's really in their feelings about something here. Um, it feels kind of young. When I say young, because of this page, um, page of pentacles. So page of pentacles is largely inexperienced, right? Um, I don't know if you're getting something. I don't know if this is you. Or, let me see, is this you or is this coming towards you? I just want to be more clear on that. This is you. Okay. This is you. Uh, five of Swords here. This is sort of a self-sabotaging energy. Saw the devil earlier, the villain, whatever you want to call it here. I think that you're getting a little bit emotionally hung up on something here. Um, something that... <laughs> 
it's like you don't really have all the information about it um, but you ha but you feel a lot towards it it's like you care a lot about this energy but you don't actually know what's going on uh, you, you know you might be feeling it's not that you're left out in the dark it's just with it's just that page of pentacles energy it's just um just not having enough information um a little inexperienced in whatever the situation is like you're not fully involved in the situation here but i think you're shooting yourself in the foot a little bit by overthinking it you're thinking too much about like well i have all these feelings i feel really strongly about this situation but it's like i i, I think it's like that energy where you didn't hear it directly from somebody but you saw something and it kind of triggered you because with that that villain uh devil energy it's like seeing something on somebody's social media and then almost jumping to conclusions or something or like there's something that triggers something inside your heart you know you feel a certain way and then it's like you you weren't expecting to feel that way and it's kind of got you all jumbled up here okay that's the, sort of the best way that i can explain this let me see what's your energy towards this Okay, you have a few things here. So we have Justice, the Hot Seat, we have the Three of Swords, Red Flags, we have the Ten of Wands, Shoulder to Cry on, and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, well this isn't all bad, okay? I do see that this is a little bit of a... The way that you're seeing the situation here, it's almost like, yeah, you know, I kind of knew it was going to be like that, okay? Um, with the Hot Seat here, um, there's something about it that... I wouldn't say that you're not surprised. It's more of a, that makes sense. You know, justice is about balance, things being in order. It's like, okay, the way that you see the energy, it's that, yeah, this kind of, it's not what you expected, but it's not, it's not out of left field kind of thing here. It doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt any less. It does hurt. Um, it still bothers you. It, there, there's, it seems to bother something that you've been dealing with. Um, some sort of old baggage or something that you had going on here. Now, I, I, the way I say, why I say it, it's not that bad because we have the 10 of wands resetting to an ace of wands here. So yes, it feels like a lot. It's very heavy, heavy on your heart type of energy. It, you know can be overwhelming here but there is a breaking point here it is getting to a point where it is too much and it will break to an ace you will get some sort of idea um from this you know where you want to start from here again so there is sort of an ending to this um for you this ending of feeling emotionally overwhelmed feeling yeah, it, it seems it's just like, it could be like a weekend thing or something. Like for a couple of days, you just feel really emotional about something that you don't really know a whole lot about. You just heard it from somewhere or you saw it and it just really gets to you for a little bit here. But it's almost like, almost like, yeah, I kind of deserve this in a way, sort of. Just the justice is just coming off that it's not necessarily that it's unfair. It's just that yeah this kind of makes sense okay where's this heading five of pentacles insecure nine of wands meeting parents and judgment the rose ceremony here and we have the lovers underneath yeah i mean i see like this is a bit of a test for you especially when it comes to your strong connections or those connections where you really want to work on yourself and be a better person in that connection whatever that is it doesn't have to be romantic but it's like showing up right the lovers is when we feel like this is right and it's like i want to be present and i want to you know i want to put forth effort towards that you know i want to 
be better because I this is worth it again and there's also the sort of the two hands very shaking here you might feel tested here tested because your your insecurities your insecurities are being tested here and it's up to you it's up to you you know how you want to deal with this the rose ceremony here it's about making decisions um it's about um kind of looking back on things like and and judging things as a whole on where it is that you want to kind of take this energy like it's basically what are you going to do with this are you going to sit here and sulk about it or are you going to take the high road or are you going to talk about it or are you going to keep it to yourself like i mean it's up to you what you think is the best road for you um but it might feel like okay what I do next can maybe determine something here, determine how things go. I mean, that's with everything. I'm not saying that it's just with this situation, with everything um, that kind of comes into play here. But yeah, I, I just see you kind of like, what are you going to do here? Um, feeling like your insecurities are being tested. All right. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you're doing well. Let's see what it is that you need to know. Seven of Pentacles for the right reasons, Queen of Cups, the Caregiver, and then the Tower. Ooh, I wanted to go in a certain way. <sighs> what is this Tower about? Ugh. Why does this keep coming out? Nine of Wands. Um, yeah, and then we have Three of Swords underneath. I feel like you're waiting for some sort of... You're waiting for this Queen of Cups. You're waiting for perhaps some sort of empathy from somebody or you're waiting for somebody to care more about you it, it feels like a specific person you it's like you've been waiting for somebody to maybe apologize offer you show you that they care in some way here um and it kind of feels like it's at that moment when maybe maybe you haven't heard boo from this person why did i say that i've never said that in my fucking life but maybe you haven't heard anything from this person and there there's something shocking happening from that here it is testing you with the nine of wands here it will test your energy uh, whether you want to give up um, things like that it is triggering as well for something from your past here's something you know it yeah it has something to do about the truth the truth that you've been avoiding the truth that you don't want to look at I'll be honest this looks a little like I I will just tell you what I think this looks like it might not be for everybody but it looks like you've been waiting for somebody to tell you they love you and what but you know what the truth is you know how they feel you just don't want to look at that and the longer that you wait the worse it feels and the more it drains your energy and the more it hurts 
Let's see. How are you viewing this? Or why is it here and all that other stuff? Not saying this to like open an old wound here for you. There's a reason why this message is coming in. Yeah, you have a lot of feelings. Ace of Cups, first kiss. Could be feelings that you didn't get to say, that you didn't get to speak. Knight of Swords. Yeah, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. I think that there are things about how you feel towards the situation, towards perhaps this person, that you didn't get to say um, here. And that can be where this tower is coming from. It's like the things that weren't said. I think there are some things that you wanted to say here. I think this is hard. This is hard to accept. It's a hard pill to swallow here. Um, it's hard to accept that maybe they've moved on or maybe you feel like you need to move on. This is all about acceptance here. The rose ceremony, judgment. This energy is coming up because it feels like there's something that you need to accept about how you think about the situation and how you think about how you feel. And the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This person could have been like your first like true love kind of thing, like the first person that you had all these feelings for because there's something very familiar. I'm getting sentimental here. Um, this could have been something that had like lasted a long time, maybe your first marriage or something here. Um, and that can be why it's difficult to let go of this, to let go of the situation here. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of conflicting energy. Where is this heading? Yeah, I saw that. We have the Emperor, the Bachelor. We have the Two of Wands, date card. We have the King of Cups, the Single Dad. This also, I saw it, so I'm going to take it out. It's the Devil, the Villain. Um, free will card, two of wands. It's up to you how you want to play this. The emperor, that's your energy. You have control on how you want to play this. You have control of your feelings, the king of cups. Now, these are together. Um, it's like, it's basically, okay, so you can either drown your sorrows in whatever it is to numb the pain uh, whatever your, you know, pick your poison, whatever it is, it's like that you, you know, you might choose to do that, or you can choose to, um, be more mature about your emotions. The king, the king of cups goes both ways. He's quite sensitive, right? Um, some, but he can get upset really easily and he can, you, and it's up to you whether you want to get upset for the wrong reasons or the right reasons. Uh, whether you want to experience those feelings, deal with those feelings in a healthy way, and move on, or do you want to do the bad thing, which is I'm just going to numb my pain with other things because I'm so upset. I do get here, it's up to you, with the Two of Wands. I do see here you have uh, the strong masculine energy, uh, which is more of a leading type of energy, uh, very protective as well. It's like wanting to protect yourself, wanting to protect your emotions with this too. I'm not going to lie, um, you could get some sort of offer here. You know, there could be some sort of invitation here and it's just up to you what you want to do with that invitation as well. Do you want to take the high road or do you want to take the low road? I get that here. Just be careful. Be very mindful that this devil energy is hanging around. You could get triggered and fall 
down a hole basically here yeah i get with the moon here especially in reverse it's unknown where this is going to go but there are a lot of emotions involved and that's why it's unknown because emotions you know emotions make people do things and act in ways that maybe they wouldn't normally or they not think clearly right so i would be mindful there's a lot of emotions here you might be feeling quite emotional about a situation whether it's already happened or it's happening here um just be mindful of how you treat yourself because there's something unhealthy about there potentially could be something unhealthy about how you go about numbing these feelings how you go about dealing with these feelings you know if you're just numbing them and not dealing with them in a healthy way then that could be sort of a warning there for you okay all right um that's what i have pre capricorn I'm telling you, these past couple Capricorn readings, I'm sorry, I wish I had like better readings for you, honestly. If this tower didn't show up, this reading probably would have went way different, but the tower just had to show up here. Hopefully things will be better, okay? So that's what I have for you. Um, thanks Capricorn for watching. Uh, if you like these readings, I don't think you enjoy them because why would you enjoy what I'm saying to you, but if you like the readings um uh please like share or subscribe i really do appreciate it i really hope that you have a good day and we're gonna move on okay aquarius let's see what's coming towards you i hope that you're doing well let's see what do you need to know Why is that car being weird? Okay. Six of Pentacles, quality time. Hmm. Four of Cups, reflection, and the Three of Wands, next destination. All I see here in your energy is you're trying to figure out where do you want to spend your time? Where do you want to give in your life? I don't think you're doing anything yet. Yeah, you're trying to... Um, where would you get the most value, basically? How would you get the most value out of how you spend your time right now is what I'm getting. I feel like right now... In this energy, you're just kind of thinking about it. Maybe you're not spending a lot of time with people. Um, Four of Cups is a little bit of an antisocial energy. You know, I'm just, I don't really feel like going out to places. I don't know if it's worth my time or not here. That's what you're trying to sort of figure out, I get. You're trying to sort of weigh, is it worth my time spending my time with certain people? Um, and what am I going to do about that? You're just delaying things. You haven't really done anything about this. Why is the three of wands here? Oh, wait, what? It's a, you're a bit of a late bloomer here. It's the knight of pentacles. I see. So you just do things in your own time. You don't operate on other people's time. You take things one step at a time and you will take action when you're ready to take action, when you feel it's the right opportunity to take action here. Mm -hmm. You ha It's like you have to look at everything first. It's like you have to look back on what's happened. So if I, this is like a bachelor deck basically I didn't really know that when I got it and then I looked at it and I was like oh yeah I guess it's like you know sort of ba the bachelor bachelorette whatever um show here so the rose ceremony it's as if like before you figure before you decide who you want to give your rose to it's like I'm gonna have to like go through all the tapes I'm gonna have to go through all the tapes for everybody um before I'm ready kind of thing here something like that 
Um, I don't think that, I mean, I think you're overthinking it a little bit here because it does seem a little bit excessive here, but this just feels like nobody can force you to move faster than you're willing to move. You have your own pace and you have your own time and this is the pace that you're going to move at. And it's like, if you don't like it, there's the door. <laughs> this is what I'm getting here. It's like, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. You can't force me to feel it if I'm not feeling it. Um, yeah, I just get you really thinking about who you spend your time with. You know, what is worth it to you? Who is worth spending time with? Now, this could be somebody coming towards you who's like this as well, but it feels mostly it's you. Energies can be reversed, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm getting flipped the script here. Seven of Cups, the Edit, Page of Wands, the Free Spirit, and the Ten of Cups. Proposal, Eight of Wands, Leap of Faith. I get that to you. You understand that this is a little risky. Because with the Four of Cups, it's like while you're sitting in here trying to basically figure out where, how you want to spend your time, you do understand a little bit that um, there's risks involved because people might see you as somebody that is just only cares about themselves, only does what they want to do, and maybe is rejecting other people, rejecting them, or um, doesn't care or something along those lines, disinterested, right? So I think that for you here, you do recognize that how your actions have consequences here, but I'm getting, you also think that no matter what happens, you can adapt. You can adapt, you can change things around. It's just a sort of a what if scenario to you. It's like you haven't done anything yet, right? The three of wands. The three of wands is before we actually do anything. It's like we're just preparing. We're just thinking about things. We're just, you know, figuring some things out. What, um, like, you know, hypothetically, what would I do next? This is all seems to be quite hypothetical to you. I don't see you actually doing things. You haven't actually sort of committed to anything here. You haven't committed to whether you're going to not do something or do something here. I don't see that yet. You're still sort of mulling it over. And I get here, this is fine for you right now. This is Ten of Cups. You see a potential here. You see the potential to be happy. And that's probably why you are kind of taking this sort of time, I guess you could say, to sort of figure this out because you think that you could have something here that is special, um, like a connection perhaps. Mm -hmm. That is the High Priestess, the advisor. You feel it. You feel like this has the potential to make you happy. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing happy as a clam. What the fuck? Um, but I also get there's a there's sort of like a an immature approach to this. Um, with the page of wands, the free spirit, there is a little bit that you are kind. You don't really have a plan. Plan. It's like you're kind of making it up as you go along as well. That's why it's like you haven't actually done anything. You haven't committed to doing anything yet because you haven't figured that out. You haven't figured out what the plan is. Not exactly. You haven't figured out what you're going to do next. You're still kind of figuring that out. Like you could flip the script at any time. You know, you just make it up as you go along. All right, where is this heading? I don't know. This is confusing. I'm confused. It's confusing because it's hypothetical, but it's also like they're all hypothetical. All the readings are hypothetical. But this feels like a hypothetical reading. Like, it, the reading itself is hypothetical. But it is. I don't know. It's confusing. I don't know why Aquarius readings sometimes get real confusing. I don't even the other air signs are like that. Jeez. 
Where's this heading, please? No, oh, action. Oh, more pages. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands, Leap of Faith, Page of Cups, the Daydreamer, and we have Justice, the Hot Seat. Ooh. Four of Pentacles, possessive. Um. Well, something is gonna happen a lot sooner, I think, than you realize, or then, yeah. The Eight of Wands. This is this is like oh, you know, energy coming in, things like action happening faster than um, was maybe expected here. It just starts to really get going here. Um, this is your energy. It feels this Page of Cups. All these energies are you. I think it's because your imagination is going a little wild here. Um, so your imagination is going wild and it's making you want to sort of put something in order um you can say fix something here um justice here it can even make you want to say something talk to somebody here um about the things that you've this because all of this so far i'm getting this has all been in your head or in your dreams or whatever like i said it's hypothetical nothing has actually happened um, it seems to continue in that way, but it does feel your imagination is going a little bit wild about how you can find balance, how you can find happiness and fix this. Just tell me more about the hot seat. Just want one more. When I say fix, it's not that it's broken, it's just creating balance, making things more balanced, which is for you to not be so much in it's just a fantasy it's just you know thoughts it's basically making it more of a reality and i think because your imagination is getting carried away here you might want to move more towards taking action to make something more of a reality of course who wouldn't when you feel like something could make you very happy when you feel something so good well of course why would you would want to move a little faster towards it it's not because you're impatient, it's because you've been thinking about it a lot. So we have the page, another page, page of uh, swords, the gossip, and the tower. Ooh, I was wondering, I'm like, what is, what is um, sort of like fueling that, like, what is, where is this coming from? This sudden, like, you know, I kind of want to make this a reality kind of thing. So this, this is... Maybe you heard something. Uh, you heard something through the grapevine here from somebody or you spied on something and you saw something and it kind of hit home here that, ooh, this could all come crashing down because all this is hypothetical. But it's like, ooh, wait a second. I know like, like this can, this could turn into a disaster. Somebody could have said something to you. That made you wonder wow um this could this could all like come crashing down it made something very clear for you it could also have made it more of a reality that you know these are just dreams these are just fantasy you know it's like that whatever that quote <laughs> the michael scott wayne gretzky co quote you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take it's kind of like that so like you don't take a shot then it's like oh somebody said something and it's like yeah you know what I, I i could it could all come crashing down it could blow up in my face hmm. all right okay that's what i have for you aquarius um thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a good day, and we're going to move on. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what's coming towards you. I hope that you've been well. Let's see, what do you need to know right now? Oh, red flag. 
Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles for the right reasons, and the Knight of Cups, the hopeless romantic. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what their intentions are. I'll look into that. But you have somebody coming towards you. Um, it could be you going towards something else as well. Um, there's just a red flag that's like, it's right in your face. There's this red flag here, but it's almost like, but I've waited so long, you know, to have something that I can move towards that I feel strongly about, even though there's a red flag here. That's what I'm getting. So I don't know who this is. I mean, this seems like it's, it's both, it's your energy. There's something here that you're very interested in. You know, the Knight of Cups is very focused on love, you know, very focused on the things that, you know, they like, the things that they love here. And I feel like it's been a while for you. And because it's been so long, it's almost like the red flags are there, but it's been so long. So are you ignoring these red flags? You might. Uh, it's decision time. Decision time. What are you going to do with this? Okay. First of all, tell me more about these three of swords. What are these red flags? Why is this here? Yeah. Somebody who does not share how they feel. Uh, four of pentacles, the king of swords, somebody who acts the way that they talk, pretty cold energy here. You might not even, like, uh, the red flag here is that they're not very lovable. Okay, I'll put it that way. They don't like to share things. They keep things to themselves and they're very smart, very intelligent, very good with words um, here, but they don't talk a lot. This is the Hermit in reverse. This is ITM. I think that's in the moment. Let me double check. Pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah, in the moment. It's the video interview thing, you know, when people are talking. You know, you're watching a reality show and then somebody's talking about what happened. Yeah. This person reflects a lot on the things that happened they're not very present. So you have somebody here who's not very present. Um, could have strong Aquarius energy here, Virgo energy. They're not super present. They keep a lot of things to themselves. They're not very open to sharing things, especially about how they feel. You know, they would prefer to sort of talk, you know, more matter of factly about things. This is a bit of a red flag for you because they're not sharing anything about how they feel and they take some time to themselves. Um, like a little bit of a leave me alone type of energy, very hermit, isolated energy. But it's been so long. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Power and so sent home and the page pentacles the optimist I think this kind of came out of nowhere here for you you don't even know really where it came from where this feelings come came from it's like you don't even know why you're so focused on this here I mean part of it is I'm telling you it's because it's been a while um here but it, it does feel like it just kind of came out of nowhere, maybe when you were least expecting it, when you were focused on other things, perhaps. Um, like, you just don't know a whole lot about it. I'm getting, there's a sort of energy of inexperience here. Something about how the way that this happened is something that you don't have a lot of experience or knowledge in. Yeah, you feel like it's kind of serendipitous how you guys came together. Mm -hmm. They might have complimented you on something. 
uh, you might have achieved some sort of goal, got some sort of prize, some sort of award here that got you some more attention here. This reeks of somebody who kind of like slid into your DMs. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like, whoa, I didn't, but like nobody's never done that before. And that, you know what I mean? Like this just kind of sounds like something that happened suddenly that you weren't expecting. Um, but it's, that hasn't happened to you before. Like somebody, yeah. But yeah, you see this sort of situation as it just kind of happened. It just feels very serendipitous here. Mm, why is this two of pentacles here? It's like you're weighing your options, but I just kind of want to know more about that. Okay. Because it's like you're weighing your options whether you want to... It's between, you know, whether having something even if you, there are red flags versus not having something you know what i mean so it's kind of like you see this like almost it's better to have something even if there are red flags than to have nothing at all that's where i'm kind of getting here with your energy okay yeah that's kind of yeah the sort of the understanding that i'm getting here from you okay so where is this heading where is this energy heading? Something. Something's moving along quite quickly here. Uh, seven of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, what is underneath? Ooh. Uh, things might escalate quickly here. Now, there are a lot of ways this can go. You know, the Seven of Cups, right? The edit here. Um, mm -hmm. There is a lot of ways where this can go. Again, you might be blindsided by something here. Something may happen that is completely out of left field, left field for you, out of the blue. I get that also, like how this kind of started, kind of seemed to be out of the blue as well. Um, so there's just more things coming out of the blue here for you. Um, I think there's a lot of illusions here. I think that you're not going to really see what is the truth and what is not the truth. It's going to be very difficult to piece it all together. I'm getting, it feels like this, the seven of the cups feels like there's a puzzle and you've got all these pieces and you're like, how do these pieces fit? Do they fit? Because some of these pieces don't even belong to this puzzle. So it's like you got all these pieces and you think that, oh, well, all the pieces here, they must be for the same puzzle. They're not. You've got pieces there that don't even belong. So it's like, what is what here? I don't like this here because this is trouble. This is disruptive. This is disruptive. It's like a ticking time bomb. It's a time bomb. Why is this here? It's called the producer plant, by the way. Um, it's that type of energy where, you know, on a show, you know, there's a plant there. There's somebody that works for the show who's there to stir shit up. That's what this is. This can be somebody that is in your life who is stirring some shit up here. It's like they know what's going on. They they understand, you know, they, they're working for somebody here and they're not working for you. And they're just there to cause trouble. That's what that is. Just there to cause trouble. Whoa, tell me more about this. So I was gonna say why, but I just wanna know more. I don't know why exactly. the Knight of Wands because I can the Ten of Swords ooh hurt people hurt people okay this is somebody that was hurt by somebody and it's like they're almost like trying to take it out on you mm, this is a very charming energy yeah. 
this person has probably had a breakup, a very bad breakup here. And they're probably looking for a rebound here. They're being very charming. They're not telling you everything. Not everything quite fits. Mm. I would be wary about this energy. I understand how your energy, if you're seeing it, like it's better to have something than nothing. Just be, just understand what that something could be. Okay. Just maybe don't get too emotionally involved. If you can't do that, then I just, I wouldn't participate in this because you're just going to hurt yourself. You're just going to get hurt. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but I don't see this going in a direction that is f super favorable for you. I mean, it's like everything, lessons learned and all of that, but um, it does seem that it can, it can get going real fast here. So, um, and if it does feel you'll be blindsided here. So, I mean, try to, I guess, take heed, take caution here with what's being presented if it's resonating with you. Um, just realize that not everything is going to be what it seems with that Four of Cups. Like I said, you, you, you're you going to look at the, if this was a, a jigsaw puzzle, I don't know why I keep saying that, but if it was a jigsaw puzzle, you're going to assume that all the pieces are here that belong to that puzzle and that all the pieces are accounted for. That's not true. They might look similar, but those pieces don't belong to the same puzzle. Some of them are from other puzzles and some of them are missing. So you don't have a complete puzzle, but you can't see it because it hasn't been put together. But you're just assuming that all the pieces there are the right ones. Don't assume that, okay? Just be very careful about that energy. Try not to assume that all the pieces are there because they're not. They're pieces from the past. They're still hanging around. I mean, you can still hang around this person. Just don't have high expectations for them right now because they look like they're on the rebound. Okay, and they're very charming and all that. Just kind of realize what this could be. Okay, all right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these readings, uh, please like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate that. I hope that you have a good day. Um, but this is where I'm gonna leave you with. Oh, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna leave everybody here with today as well. So thank you again um for watching um i hope that you found something useful or insightful or just entertaining here um but yeah i hope that everybody has a good day or good night uh wherever you are take care good luck and i'll talk to you later bye